is what you will not do. I have 30 years experience. This is how you can short circuit the, the path. This is how you can avoid. This is how you can be more successful. And when I get to my mukmuk, it's after you. We were not called to mukmukais. Stand. The gospel is powerful. Amen. 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 You cannot save everyone. A lot of pastors are heartbroken with that. Yeah. You cannot. No. Look at Jesus. Even Jesus did not save everyone. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's go. Always looking for the lost sheep. Amen? You are ready. Yeah. You find it. That's what I've learned. So uh, that, that, those were like 30 years of lessons. That's why I can preach like this. <laughs> 30 years of lesson. But you know what? We can pray. Here's how I'm going to... We're going to pray for the lost. Amen. That God will command the light. You know, my greatest concern is, did Jesus even pray for the Pharisees? For Pilate? For Herod? For the Sanhedrin, the religious council who crucified him? Actually, he condemned everyone. Mm -hmm. He called them brood of vipers. You will never escape hell. Seems like Jesus already pronounced their judgment. Yeah, he knew. Huh? But you know, we're going to pray today for the lost sheep. Amen? Because yeah. Jesus said, I have other sheep. See, I have. They're mine. Alam niya na kung nasan yung mga isisave niya eh. Do you believe that? You have to go and you must say those who will get saved tomorrow, next week, next month. He already knows where they are, okay. and he is already active, working in their hearts, drawing them. Let's Remember? go find them. Drawing. It took three years for God to draw me to submission and surrender. Yeah. Amen. So let's pray, Lord. I really pray. You know where the lost sheep is. That's why the parable of the lost sheep, the shepherd left the 99 and looked for that one lost sheep. Lord, you already know where they are. Those who will get saved today, tomorrow, next week, next year, five years, ten years from now, you already know them. Jesus said, I have other sheep, John chapter 10, I have other sheep out there in the world. I must also bring them in, John chapter 10, verse 18, I believe. I must also draw them, bring them in. They will hear my voice and believe. Why will they hear and believe? Because Jesus will speak to them. Jesus will call their names. Remember, I call my sheep by name. Jesus will draw them. The light, will, the, gospel, the light of the gospel will shine in them just like the Apostle Paul. You know what Jesus, what Jesus said to Ananias later on? Go to Apostle Paul. Pray for him, for he is a chosen vessel of mine. Remember, after Paul became blind, he sends, he sends Ananias. Go to him, for I have chosen. So he already knew Paul, even before he was born. I have chosen him. See, that's my prayer. Lord, those whom you chose, bring me to their path. Yes, Lord. That's my mission in life. You know where they are. Bring me to their path. And I pray that this gospel that we're preaching now will convict the hearts of many digitally in the world. Those who are here, may the Holy Spirit draw them, convict them right now. Convict them of their self-righteousness. Convict them of their dead religious works. Help them realize that only Jesus can change the hearts, that wicked heart, that depraved and darkened heart. Only Jesus can change that heart. They must be born again. 
The Spirit of God must convict them and draw them. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you heard this news, this good news, just say, Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I confess my sin to you. I believe in you. I've been convicted now. I saw the light of the gospel. What must I do? Well, give your life to Jesus. Follow him. Love him. Amen. Give your life to him. Repent of your sin. Follow him and you will be saved. This is the day of your salvation. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Thank you, people out there. Thank you, listeners. Thank you. Special shout out to Maria Raynalyn. Oh, Sister Raynalyn. Uh, Brother Al, Pastor Tani, and Sister Vinia. Jomar. Jomar, Alona. Praise God. May the Lord empower you there in the Philippines. More souls. Amen. We are now a mission society. More souls. Amen. More souls. Amen. Praise God. Sister, Brother Jomar, thanks for watching. Happy trip. I know you're leaving tonight. May the Lord protect you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for supporting. God bless you. Pastor Ruel, God bless you. Amen. Sister Alona, God bless you. And Sister Meg, thank you for coming. Thank you for the regular ones, my faithful attendees. God bless you. Amen. We're gonna, we can pray here. If you have more prayer requests, let's believe in the power of prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.